Hi there. If you haven't yet dipped into our eating disorder parent support group, I really would encourage you to join those sessions because there's some fabulous dialogue that comes out of those. And our latest session with Amanda, our eating disorder psychologist, just had so much interaction and she came up with some really valuable points that I really know made so much difference to the families that attended the session. And these sessions, obviously during the pandemic, they're held online, so really easy to participate in. So you know, please do drop us a line if you want to be involved in the future ones. But the latest session um, saw Amanda create a, a really good analogy around ensuring that the eating disorder isn't allowed to get its place on the pedestal at the centre of your household. And she talked about effectively being in a rowing boat in a store and the importance of keeping going and maintaining family life. And what she was saying is that if there was everyone in that rowing boat trying to kind of ultimately get to one destination, but for whatever reason, there's somebody in that rowing boat is sick, if everybody else in the boat started to panic and be in a fluster and not focus on what they should be doing to keep rowing in the right direction, if everybody was doing that, then all of you would end up capsizing the boat, not getting to the destination that you needed to do. So you're not supporting the individual that's sick and you're not supporting the rest of the crew. What she was saying is if the rest of the crew can stay focused and keep moving forward, in the storm, then actually ultimately you're doing the best good for the person that's having a struggle. You've got to maintain some steady for that ship during the battle that you're facing. And that's so true of an eating disorder. What she also said was that, you know, you can make what she would refer to as reasonable adjustments in family life to enable that person with the eating disorder to have that sort of slight adjustment and tolerance within um, dealing with the illness. But at the same time, you have to stick really firm to what is normal for your family. So if it's not normal to produce five different meals for different members of the family, and if it is normal to have a meal time at a certain period of the day, try as best as you can to stick to that. As she says, make realistic adjustments, recognise that you're dealing with a mental health illness within the family environment. But the single best thing you can do for everyone, particularly if there are you know, partners and there are other siblings involved, is to keep the ship steady and move forward as best you can, only making those slight adjustments, but certainly not letting go of the framework of the household and family life that is so vital to help keep somebody moving forward in their recovery. If you want to talk more about that or if you want to join our parent support sessions, then please get in touch. Okay, have a good day.